Hello guys, in this video we're going to talk about percentages. I've had some requests in my comment section and so we're going to clear up some issues with uh, calculating percentages and using them. First of all, uh, a percentage is how much out of every hundred items, every hundred observations, uh, you know, fall into a certain category. You know, for example, if, uh, you know, we've been talking about COVID a lot recently, you know, if you have 5% test positive in your community, that means five out of 100 tests that people take are positive. Um, one thing with percentages is um, sometimes we have trouble converting them from uh, decimals to percentages and back and forth. So let's just kind of deal with that first. Um, if you have uh, 5%, that is the same as 5 out of 100. And uh, currently, that decimal is right there. If you divide by 100, basically that means move decimal left two spots and that's because we've got two zeros right there so if you do that this is decimal is going to be if you have zero zero say you just have this and your decimal is right there if you go one two like that suddenly this is 0 0.05 that is five percent let's do another one say you take uh, 23 percent and you rewrite that is 23 over 100. Right now the decimal is right there. So if you move the decimal over one, two spots, that's going to be 0.23. Um, likewise, if you want to convert a number, convert a decimal to a percentage, say you have 0.762. Now it's okay to have more than you know more numbers behind the decimal. You can have as many as you want. What you do is you um, move decimal right two spots. So that's going to be one, two, seventy-six point two percent. Now another way to do this, I'll show you another option, is you could take uh, 0.7 six two and multiply it times a hundred percent on a calculator if you want to do it that way you know you don't really need to but i've got my ti uh, calculator here and all i would do is i'd take a uh, point seven six two times one hundred oops try that again point seven six two times one hundred and you get your seventy six point two percent just like that um and uh so another thing that you might want to do with percents is find out what is, you know, 17% of a big number. So let's work on that. Uh, what is 17% of, I'm going to just say, how about 280,000? Just making up some numbers here. Um, so what I would do is I'd take 280,000 and then I'd multiply it times the decimal version of 17%, which is 0.17. And we can do that on your TI calculator here. Just keep it simple. Uh, 280,000 times 0.17, that is 47,600. So, you know, if you wanted to say that, you know, 17% of the, this, this, this city has been infected with COVID, uh, this would be the number of people that have been infected with COVID or whatever it is. Um, and uh, if I wanted to say, <clears throat> uh, uh, let's do one more, find 32% uh, of, uh, we'll do a smaller number, uh, 9,200. If that was your question, what you could do is take your 9,200 and multiply it times the decimal uh, 0.32 because that's 32 percent in decimal 9200 times 0.32 and you see that's 2944 
32 percent that's <clears throat> that's about a third you know it's close to a third it's not exactly but ballpark a third and 2900 is <clears throat> in the ballpark of 9200 being a third of 9200 so that kind of checks out um so uh, i hope this is helping you out you know one last thing i'll tell you that sometimes people do here is uh, if you don't like using the calculator you could have done this 9200 over one times 32 over 100. That's another way that you could have made this work. And, uh, you know, this reduces by 100 to 1 and 92. So then you could have just done basically 92 times 32 if you were not using a calculator and just did good old-fashioned multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 times 2 is 18. And then 3 times 2 is 6. 9 times 3 is 27. And add... All that up, 4, 14, carry the 1, 9, 29, 44 once again. So that's another way you can do percents. I hope this helped. Uh, again, please give me comments. I love them. Uh, and uh, please let me know what else I can help you with. Have a great day.